at the Duke of London, which is a classic car brokerage down here in Kew. Uh, this is owned by my good friend Merlin. We have got the same penchant for classic cars, so I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to come down here, have a chat with him, and check out what he's got in. So we are here with the lovely Merlin, who's my good friend. Obviously we're here at Duke of London, which is your yeah. business. Tell me a little bit how it started, because even I don't know, and I've known you for however long. So I have uh, been brought up around my dad's business, which is the Romance of Rust, which is mm -hmm. situated next door. Um, he, it's a classic car uh, restoration business that he started up in 1990. Mm -hmm. um, he's classically trained at Rolls Royce, building Corniches and Phantoms as a panel beater. Um, he had clients come into him, almost on a weekly basis, offering to you know, buy a car or looking to sell a car. And you know, he'd always pass on their business elsewhere to friends of his who were already in the industry, but he never took on the, the work himself. Um, and I came along and decided to pick up the slack and started helping his clients, sourcing cars to them, selling their cars to them and looking after their collections. Um, fast forward a couple of years, I took on this show in 2014 <coughs> and um, the business has just continued to grow. It's very impressive for a young pup really, isn't it? How are you, 22? 22, yeah. It's really good to see, um, obviously, younger people that are into classic cars and your dad's been a huge influence in yeah, your massively, life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, same as me. And that's that's something that I've been really looking at is how, how did we even get, how did we all get into this? And it is becoming sort of a running theme that, you know, our parents have got a huge, huge influence on that. So you're still working with your dad now. Um, what's some of your cars of note that you've had come through these doors? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, the relationship between me and my dad, as much as the business is two separate businesses, we obviously go hand in hand. He's always maintaining my cars. And again, I'm sourcing cars for his clients. So I mean, recently I sourced a, a DB4 Aston that he's now converting from a Series 3 body to a Zagato body. So we're shortening the chassis to a GT spec, like chopping five inches out of the chassis. Nice. I was going to say, you've got quite an eclectic mix in the showroom just around you now, obviously with the Minis and then obviously the Ferrari and we've got the Corvette through there. Yeah, and, yeah <laughs> it's, it's quite diverse. Yeah, absolutely. I suppose a lot of it's um, really, my mum is as much, if not more, um, into cars as my dad. And she was always the one that had the cars when we were growing up. So my mum had Corvettes. Yeah, she's got the Plymouth outside. Yeah, and the Plymouth outside. Um, that was our daily driver when we were kids. Um, and I sort of just took it away from her because um, it was just being neglected. Then I'm now about to strip it and do a full bare metal respray on it and everything else. Amazing. Um, but yeah, my mum's passion for the actual cars themselves is to come up through me, whereas my dad's attention to detail is also something I've luckily inherited. So you haven't actually been in this building for very long, and I will admit this is probably one of my favourite showrooms in London. Um, it's so eclectic, I mean, you've got all sorts all over the wall. Um, Berlin has quite a few events here, and I totally fell in love with the place, but unfortunately, yeah, it's not going to be around for much longer. No, um, it's actually owned by Brentford Football Club and I lease it from them. Um, they've finally got planning permission to build their new stadium on this site. And despite, you know, this is only this is the only building that's ever been on this site. Um, it was built in 1842 in front of us. Um, it's, just, it's just a cobbled yard. And that was the Kew Bridge Fruit and Veg Market. Um, it has been for, well, you know, it was for a couple of hundred years. This was the stable block where the traders would leave their horses during mm -hmm. the market trading hours. But yeah, it's such a shame that this building's been taken down because I think, you know, the longevity of the place, is, it brings such character. The whole thing that drew me to the Duke of London's uh, brokerage was the character of Merlin himself. But then the building and the atmosphere, like it's got a really special feel to it. I mean, we, we're hoping to sort of take it on to another level. I've, you know, we're looking to take on a new property. Obviously we need to expand. I've got too many cars, not enough space. Um, looking to employ a few more people, take on a couple of apprentices as well, as well help out in the community. We're working closely with a college down the road to Love try and that. put some uh, people into work that have had some trouble pass and things like that. So it's really like putting it back into the community. Yeah, yeah, massively. And we'd like to, we'd like to stay in the area. Obviously my business sort of started here and has been centric around Chiswick and West London. And I don't really want to be moving out to the countryside as much mm -hmm. as, you know, overheads would be less. Than the get more There's weirdos out there. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you for taking me round today. Um, You're welcome. It's really interesting to obviously hear the story behind this place. Obviously gutted that it's going. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I heard earlier that you're going to do a restoration on this Plymouth, and it's honestly one of my favourite cars that you've got here. What's the plans? So 
you know, my mum, like I said, has sort of forgotten about this thing, so we, we've got it off of her and we're going to rebuild the engine, strip the whole thing to bare metal, do any metal work it needs, repaint it and retrim it. Um, I'm fitting um, all custom suspension to it, so it'll actually drive like it was once designed to. Um, nice. And yeah, it should be ready by the end of the year. So I'm going to come back down and sort of follow the progress of this a little bit, if that's sure. all right with you? Yeah, of course. You're always welcome. Wicked. Um,